Underworks. 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 Underworks.
because we ha I had to perform with a guitar player, another a Brazilian guy. At that day, oh, today we're gonna play with a saxophone player. Oh, whew, nice. <laughs> and okay, this guy yeah. arrived and we start, we start to talk. Oh, we're going to play with yeah. the guitar player. Oh, so, <laughs> so we're gonna yeah. play together. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you met so him before? Yeah, it was fun. Okay. And we, yeah. we had a nice jam uh, yeah. on Grafton Street. And the, the funniest thing is that we like kind of the same kind of music. Yeah. We have the same kind of ideas. We, it's really easy to do a band with some people that it's your friends. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. It's we the best fun. thing. Chemistry yeah. is there, right? It's the yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. When I was 15 years old, I started to do a band with my friends. First time I packed a bass and I played bass. And I started to play. It was fun enough. But like uh, the vocal told me to like uh, do a chorus. So I started to sing together. And I found that singing is, I think it's funnier than bass. So then I wanted to sing, but with the you know, play bass and singing, it's not really working. Like if you do a lot, it's a stuff. very lonely stuff, you know. Ah. Like I easily get to fall, uh, fall asleep or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, that's my experience. So I started to play the guitar and like it's a kind of not serious one. Uh, like in the, the college band, high school band or stuff. And I graduated my college and I started like an international trade, not really about the music stuff. And when I graduated, I didn't want to work in the things I studied. So I just came to Ireland, I saw people playing music and I felt, oh, maybe I can do it. So I started playing. And after I met these guys by accident on the street. So who's the first guy who came to you? Maybe that guy. Yeah. Yeah. I saw this guy like four months ago or something. He was playing with the other guy. And I think the other guy stopped playing. So he found this one. Yeah. Like changing boyfriend Great. or something. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like together. And yeah. I was playing alone all the time. I've been playing alone like for I've been singing a long time. Okay. Yeah. And these guys found me. But they needed someone to. Yeah. So like, yeah, to, okay. so I had to just give it a try. Yeah. <laughs> so I like, started to play together. And I knew Jay. Like, we've been playing in, the, in band in here, like some Korean bands, Science. Korean society in Dublin. A few times, but he didn't play in the street before. But I started playing with these guys, and Jay became free, so we did that. Let's do it together. The yeah. band was formed. Yep, the band was formed. Bam. Exactly. Bam. So let's hear Jay's. It's, my background is actually kind of rock music because uh, there is a YouTube video. This is called Canon Rock Version. I've decided to play the guitar when I saw this video. Okay. It was like 10 years ago. And then I entered the music college and I play guitar now. The interesting thing was like the reason I decided to play music because I saw the the guy you saw in the YouTube video. Mm -hmm. He was my uh, like my not my friend graduated in my medium school. Okay. He came to my middle school. Yeah. He I saw him playing yeah. in real and I was like wow that's amazing. It's the same reason too. Crazy, same guy. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know. Now, isn't that amazing that, that literally, if you put yourself in that guy's position now, because really, you are. You're killing it out there, people are seeing you. You can influence somebody, if not many, many people, which I mean, I know you do every day, but take a moment to actually realize it for a second. You're influencing so many people every day, you could possibly change their life. Possibly you've just created a whole world. You've just created a world. Yeah. This, this is amazing. That sounds, <laughs> you know. that sounds really good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like. I don't know if you do it full time. Me back in Vancouver, I pretty much I do music full time, right? And I, if I thought about it, I could probably go back to maybe somebody who I watched or listened to that influenced me, and it's given me my career. It's pushed me. It's pushed, pulled me, and given me the ability to travel. Yeah. <laughs> That's insane. This is Artist Killing Living, interview sessions, and ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you, Underwars. The name is Underwars, and Victor chose it because... This is terrible answer. <laughs> yeah, it's quite terrible. My name is Jose Cristóvão, from Brazil, and the bass player. And I'm Victor, jazz, I'm from Brazil as well, and I play saxophone. Uh, my name is Mingyu, Joe. And I sing and play the guitar. The interesting thing was like the reason I decided to play music because I saw the the guy you saw in the YouTube video. Mm -hmm. okay. He came to my middle school. Yeah. He I saw him playing yeah. in real and I was like, wow, that's amazing. It's the same reason too. 
Crazy, it's the same guy. Yeah, I didn't know. Now, isn't that I amazing that, that literally, if you put yourself in that guy's position now, because really, you are. You're killing it out there, people are seeing you. You can influence somebody, if not many, many people, which I mean, I know you do every day, but take a moment to actually realize it for a second. You're influencing so many people every day, you could possibly change their life. Possibly you've just created a whole world. You've just created a world. Mm -hmm. yeah. this, this is amazing. It sounds, <laughs> you know. it sounds really good. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and for sure this is one of the reasons why we do music. Yeah. Because sometimes uh, we see people like just walking and they stop yeah. and they smile to yeah. us and kids and you know everyone stop and they have we see we feel that they are having a good time. Yeah. They would need like something like that for yeah. that moment. And exactly. Yeah. We yeah. we honestly we broke their routines mm. and it's so cool because when they realize it, something good is happening. They stop and they smile. Some people dance, and it's so cool. cool. Yeah. yeah. And more than music, we are doing friends. This is the yeah. nicer thing. Now, the next thing I want to talk about, guys, is something technical. Okay. So you may speak about something technical about what you play. You could talk about crowd control. Maybe even talk about like I'd actually like to hear how you guys do it. I didn't really stay for the whole performance. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> but uh, how you guys maybe work together to motivate the crowd to uh, share their energy. In my case, in what I mean is like have them actually come and throw some money in. Because for me, it's more than just money. It's actually them showing that they appreciate you by passing energy that they've put in yeah. and put in the form of a coin or a note, right? Okay, so maybe crowd control and then talk to me about your instrument, something technical that someone who's learning can learn. You make good, good interesting, interesting points about the energy. We not just about the money, but we need the money. It's our job. And uh, like Victor said, uh, we met a lot of people and we talk about, always talk about the uh, instrument, uh, which rig everyone uses, and uh, always updating our, in my case, I, as a bass player, I use like a simple rig, like a bass amp, normal bass, Yamaha bass, and some pedals, I like to use like Coros bass, is a pedal, that bring the bass more more present, and it's like for improvise as well. And I think for for do that chemistry in, in a band we, we we like to improvise a lot. So everyone doing that has your moment for improvise, and I think people likes that, and is our one of the best points of our band under wars. And also Sam uh, about some really technical here in Dublin is that we have a kind of license. Each one of us need to have a license. And there's two kind of license for an uh, acoustic instrument like mine, and there is uh, one for this guy that is an uh, electric instrument with an amplifier and cables and all this stuff. So you need to go to the city council and ask for one of these license pay. You need to, to explain then what kind of song you do, and they will give you this license for a year. So you can also have for a month or uh, I think a week. But you need to organize, do everything is organized because here in Dublin the music is really strong. There's a lot of people from all over the world doing music on the street and they try to organize this to don't be like a crazy 24 hour city party. So it's really cool the way how, like the technical way how they fix this, how they organize this and it's a good thing. For me, I'm not really like uh, entertaining like the other people, like like make people like crowd, like clapping or this stuff. I'm not really that kind of person. So when I used to play alone, like not really just like say thank you. But since I started to play with this uh, this guys, the picture gives some positive energy to people. Kind of do something like I give the negative. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a perfect balance. Too. Yeah. So he like, stays in the middle, does nothing, yeah. and yeah. look at the negative. Look, look at his face. <laughs> yeah. Of course. So sometimes, like if Victor's playing a saxophone, to try to get close to the audience. Yeah. yeah. Like you know, some people like it, but some people like maybe right. just like just right. like need to become some musicians. Right. Right. Yeah. So if, you gotta bring, you gotta. Yeah. Bring back. <laughs> so yeah. If you're all like a Victor, would be like. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we have a good balance. Okay. Cool. That's good. It's also where you can have like internal feedback. Yeah. Because I mean, yeah, even me as a performer, as soon as I'm done, I try and video my stuff, I try and watch my things over again. But it's nice if someone else who has a whole different experience comes, who's playing with me. Exactly. Then you can, I'm sure you guys, 
probably gonna go much further that way. Yeah, and, and the thing is that they bring me to the reality, bring right. me to the real world. Oh yeah, yeah. sorry guys. We add it. Jay is the most technical guy. Most technical. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. He knows, he knows, he knows the thing. thing. Um, yeah. I I just play like human voice, you know, because I think the uh, if 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 I play like just computer so people can't feel something but uh, if I play like human voice there is something something it's like a conversation yeah actually talking yeah the instrument. it's yeah. it's totally different and it's working for people so I only focus on my feeling and yeah, you know. <laughs> I love that. I love that. He's that's the most really technical. Good, yeah. <laughs> he's gonna talk about playing like a voice. Yeah. I feel that's technical. Yeah. But you want to say something, one last word to the world? Something inspirational? Yeah, so to conclude, we would like to say thank you for you, Sam, to give us this opportunity and you know, your whole theme. We know that this kind of opportunities to show our job is everywhere, but it's nice when someone stops us and say, guys, you're doing a great job. and. Uh, I would yeah. like to interview you and to talk with you a little bit. And I'm sure uh, your time here in Europe will be much better talking with musicians. So Sam, we would like to appreciate and say thank you for stopping us and watch us playing, you know. It's not every day that someone appreciates our song and say, let me do an interview, let me ask you how the things are going. Uh, we really appreciate because this is uh, an opportunity to show our work. And this is also a way that we felt recognized. This is really good. So thank you. And I wish a lot of success for you and your team, Sam. Thank yeah. you very much. Sure. Much appreciated. So you guys are going to let this guy carry everything on his shoulders? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. I like how you guys, uh, you guys got the balance, you know, you all know your place and I think that's beautiful though. Yeah, he's the South Korean and Brazilian style. You know? <laughs> yeah. 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 It's like, I think, I feel, I feel like most, most uh, South Korean and Chinese or Asian are more reserved. Yeah, right. Exactly. exactly. And you got Brazilian, y'all can yeah. go crazy. Exactly. I don't know what to do with you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But you know what, Minkyu ate a South Korean, he, for uh, Asian people, he's really open, really nice guy. Like really, he sounds more uh, European and American. Josie, as a Brazilian, he's more reserved, you know. <laughs> so, so this is it's funny. <laughs> yeah, he, he can be the South Korean. Minkyu can be the Brazilian. Yeah. And, uh, and this is the way how we do. So I, I got one more request, guys. So I know everybody across the screen wants to see you guys pull your hair down. <laughs> sure, do it. Victor, your turn. Everybody. <laughs> oh, yeah. It looks like Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> love it. Love it. Okay, guys, so I'm your boy Sam Chimes. This is Artist Killing the Living Interview Sessions, International Edition, brought to you and powered by long, beautiful hair and good music. Yeah. Yes. Once upon a time, you need to go on google.ca or .com or .ie or .fi or whatever else we got. <laughs> And check out Under Wars, not Underwears. We'll find no, something not underwears. different. No. But, but under if wars. you if you check about Underwears, you will find us. You find <laughs> not us, us, but you will find. <laughs> <laughs> find Love it. Horrible things. Oh man. Okay. All right. So with that, we're gonna call it. Peace. <laughs> Peace. You are all I know, so all I do is shape and I go, and I go on. And I spend so long, and I go on. Thank you once again for tuning in. That was Under Wars. I am Sam Chimes, and this is Artists Killing the Living Interview Sessions, the International Edition. Peace. We'll catch you next time.